Good morning, everybody. We are back again. It's Tuesday morning. It's myself and Sheikh Mangro Bangwena. Uh, we are from the weekend. You know what happened the weekend. Sheikh will tell us more. Mablo the Sundowns, they are the champions. They are the champions. And the good news is Sheikh was part of uh, those legends who were going around uh, for Mamelo the Sundowns, motivating the players for the game uh, so that they can go to the game. Let's welcome Sheikh. Sheikh, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, Brasobri. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah. Uh, this morning, uh, greet all the viewers of our show. And yes, uh, uh, finally, we are the champions of the internet. <laughs> finally, finally. Sheikhs, let's analyze the game. What did you see? You as a former footballer, uh, as you are watching Mamelodi Sundowns, the way they played, and then uh, Cape Town City, the way they played, and then, uh, well, the least said about Onyango. I don't know what to say. He was brilliant. But let me leave it to you as a former footballer. Just analyze the game for us. What did you see? Yes, Prasobri. Well, uh, it was never going to be an easy game. It, it never is an easy game in a cup final against a quality team like Cape Town City. So it was never going to be an easy game, you know. Uh, Sundowns coming into the game uh, with high confidence, uh, having not conceded uh, any goal in the league. And uh, But it, it's always different in a cup final. So we knew that it's going to be a tricky one. It's not just going to be uh, like a normal PSL game. A cup final is, is, is always got uh, its twists and turns and it proved to be so on the day. So no surprises with me uh, uh, with the game going to extra time and penalties. It's something I expected. Even though Sundowns had the opportunity to kill the game off um, with, with Tabelo Morena, but Cape Town City showed great resilience uh, 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 coming back uh, uh, and equalizing and taking the game to extra time and penalties. And then uh, penalties, it was a one-man show. Uh, Onyango showing his class, showing that, you know, it, it, it's very important. You have a lot of quality players at Sundowns, Abom Shishi, mm. uh, players who you rely on to win the game, but you also need the keeper. And, and, mm. and there... He was the one who saved the day. He was the one who won the cup for us. We, uh, I, I, I can't put it any other way. Onyango was the man for the day, and it was his time, and he shined. Uh, uh, so congratulations to Sundowns. Finally, uh, this one was the one that even I haven't won before. Mm. SAA Super 8. So uh, finally, we have this one in the cabinet. It was the one that was missing. And now, since you have a man, you have a lot of money, you have a lot of money. But Shakes, uh, I think you as a former player, remembering that this cup, it's very elusive. Don't you think that has been playing in the player's mind, especially when they were going to extra time to say, hey, this cup again, we are not going to lay our hands on it. Uh, does that come to the player's mind if if it goes that way. Definitely, definitely. Foot, foot, football is a very psychological game, you know. Mm. So the, the mind games play on you. I, for one, when we went to penalties, I thought, there we go again, you know, mm. because uh, Sundowns do not normally win a cup final on penalties. Once we get to that stage, mm. uh, things go wrong. I, I can remember the first MTNA cup final, we went to penalties with Kaiser Chiefs. And Kune uh, uh, was the one who shined mm. on that cup final. Uh, mm. When Chiefs won, he saved the penalties. Peter Njobu had to retake the penalty because mm. Kune came out of his line and he saved it again. So uh, when we went to penalties this time around, I thought, oh my God, there we go again. Mm. This cup again. is not, for, is not mm. for us, you know, mm. because we, mm. we've never won it uh, but Onyango was 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 the man of the day, and really he broke the record by the way for mm. saving a, a five penalties in a mm. penalty shootout. It's it's mm. it's in the history books, and and I really have to give it to him. What a leader! Mm. And 
Yeah, and uh, I really thought as well, uh, uh, Cape Town City players, I mean, they had two penalties to win the cup final and they mm. couldn't score those penalties. Those are the easiest penalties to take. A penalty without pressure. If you miss, you, you're not costing the team. So that's a penalty you should take maybe with, 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 with power in the middle of the post, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, but I, I'm not faulting the Cape Town City players. I have to give credit to Onyango. He was the man on the day. You know, I saw some players who could see that they were panicking. And I could tell, even before they take it, that they were going to miss it. I'll tell you why. If you look the way Jali took his penalty, you could see Concord. that this man is confident. He knows what he's doing. So that is why he buried that penalty. I don't know whether you saw what I saw. Definitely, definitely. He, he, he was one player. You could see that he was comfortable when he went there. He showed his arrogance. And you can see his confidence, the way he was standing to take that penalty. He knew what he was doing, and he was so calm in taking that penalty. He was the one player who, who looked calm. Uh, but yes, all the other players, you could see on their faces, the nerves. Mm. Uh, they were very nervous going in there mm. and taking that penalty. And it's surprising for us all because mm. normally you'd have a capacity crowd there. That's when the nerves will come. But then... Mm. The crowd, there was 2,000 people in, in the crowd that you expect players to be composed and take mm. those penalties with composure. Mm. I mean, the likes of Domingo, a quality player like that, mm. taking that first penalty, ah, looked so nervous, you know, putting mm. it over the post. Mm. And he would have probably taken those penalties at training and been putting them in the top corner. So that's why they gave him the best one to take. But mm. on the day, the players were very nervous, you know. I don't know what you saw. Shaolule, was he scared to take penalties because he came towards the end? Yes, was, you know, it the, you was, the, expect... was it the part of uh, the flat? Yeah, I guess, you know, what would happen before the final prasobri is that all the players will take penalties. If we know we're playing a cup final, we're going to practice the penalties the day before the game. Mm-hmm. So the players that were that were putting them in the back of the net at training and they looked confident, they're the ones who will step up and take the first penalty. Probably maybe Shaulile. Salulile didn't have, uh, uh, didn't take them well at training. Maybe I'm just thinking that's why he didn't uh, uh, go first to take the penalty. But uh, in my thinking, a striker should be uh, confident. A striker who's scoring goals like Salulile should be confident and should be the first one to take a penalty when it comes to penalty shootouts. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you saw what I saw. I saw, I think, the last penalty. Oyango moved before it was kicked. Yeah. But yeah. I can uh, equate that one. I saw the goalkeeper of Cape Town City also moving in one of the penalties, uh, which was uh, which he stopped. So I said square up. I don't know whether you saw what I saw. The last penalty, that is why yeah. Cape Town City players were so livid. Yeah, definitely. I picked it up and, uh, and uh, I picked it up in both goalkeepers. Both goalkeepers were, were, were taking advantage of, of, of the assistance referee's ignorance there because they were moving. Just mm-hmm. like uh, the other penalty shootout where Kennedy when he was saving those penalties, he was taking advantage of, 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 of the referee not uh, uh, disciplining him when, he, when he's moving early. So it happened again. I saw it with the with the Cape Town City goalkeeper. I have to say, both of them they they were they were moving, you know, mm-hmm. before the kick, and uh, the assistant was not uh, uh, punishing that. So Onyango carried on, and it was working for him. Big up to Mamelo the Sundowns. Let me share what you shared with us on our group. I don't know this picture, <laughs> but it's a very interesting <laughs> one. It's a very interesting one. That in the last 24 hours, uh, Mamelodi Sundowns, they had a cup, Pirates, 323 days. Uh, Kaiser Chiefs, seven years and five months, 22 days. Very interesting uh, statistics. Very interesting statistic, uh, Prasobri. So, you know what? The truth, the truth is the truth, eh? And, and we yeah. want statistics. Remember when I do the message special, 
I always want the numbers, the numbers. Yes. Because the numbers, yeah, the numbers don't lie. Exactly, 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 Prasobri. Numbers don't lie. This shows really uh, 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 the drought in Soweto. Yeah. And uh, they need to pick up their socks because now uh, Sundowns has taken the first one. Mm -hmm. Sundowns is looking good to take the big one, the league one. So um, a, lot of need, a lot of work needs to be done with the Soweto teams, you know. And uh, Chiefs is doing well in the league. Now they seem to be gaining their confidence, mm -hmm. you know. So... We want to see a competitive league. We want to see a competitive South African league and uh, uh, not just the one host team. As much as uh, uh, my heart is with Sundowns, but I want to see a, a league that's that's more competitive. And now Sundowns look like they are running away with, the, with, 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 with these trophies. They are saying uh, maybe Soweto 11 can beat Sundowns. <laughs> where, where you have Pirates, Chiefs, Swallows players taking sundowns. <laughs> That's what people are saying in the street. Sweet 11. You know, no more pirates yeah. taking sundowns. At one stage, both points between Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs were not matching the sundowns points. Mm -hmm. So maybe we need to add the Swallows points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shakes, uh, the good news is uh, Mangoba Mnuti. Together, Frulani Mukwena, uh, Pijom Simani, they have been selected uh, to compete at, at World Eleven as one of the best coaches. Uh, so we are, they are competing with the big guns there, your Pep Guardiola, uh, your Conte, and so on. So we wish our guys good luck. Uh, the Mamelo the Sundowns, the, 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 the Twins also Pizzo. Pizzo is still our our homeboy. We yeah. also wish one of them to win to win that, but we know what's gonna happen. We, it will end up being won by those Europeans in any way. Um, we know that Klopp is gonna no no not Klopp. I think Tuchel will take it. Uh, but the mere fact that they have been nominated that's a good that's a good thing. We need to celebrate that. Uh, it's it's a it's a sign in the group towards the right direction. And then uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. Shakes, thank you very much. Let me allow you to leave because you have to rush for something else. And then uh, hopefully Tsepa will join me in the afternoon show. If he doesn't join me, I may be on by myself. Thank you very much, Shakes. Thank you, Brasov. Thanks for having me on the show. Um, and good luck to us. Thank you, Shakes. Thank you. Bye.